Hey everyone, what's going on? It's Steven here again today, or SuperBruce91. Today we're playing some Team Deathmatch Ground War on the map Octane using the M27 LMG on Microsoft's newest next generation console, the Xbox One. But before I get into today's Tip Tuesday, I wanted to ask you guys if you wanted to see Assassin's Creed Black Flag next generation gameplay and just see what you guys think of it. If you guys want to see that, let me know in the comments below because I can post a video of that anytime you guys want me to, so let me know below in the comments. But anyways, getting into, to, into today's Tip Tuesday, here's my first tip. Use speed perks. When I say use speed perks, this goes for almost all game modes except for cranked because when you become cranked, you get a lot of the speed perks like agility, stalker, and stuff like that. But speed perks are very, very important, whether you use them on your specialist bonus or you just use them as your normal perks on your class setup. Highly recommend using a few different perks. There's going to be a perk called Stalker, which pretty much gives you faster sway, swaying movement speed while aiming down your iron sights. That is extremely key in this game. It really is, guys. I mean, with an LMG, if I don't have Stalker on, I will move so slow when I aim down my iron sights. Being able to move while aiming down your iron sights is so important, no matter what gun you're using. So I almost have to say Stalker is a mandated perk to use. Also, stuff like Marathon Agility, those are optional, but Stalker, you need to have or you need to have quick draw or the one that allows you to pull up your gun a little bit faster. You need a few of those perks to be effective in gunfights. My next tip is not a very obvious one. It's not something that I'm very good at, but I'm trying to get better at it as I go along. And that would definitely have to be running. I like running in this game a lot because it gets you places faster, right? But what you gotta learn in this game, guys, or any Call of Duty for that matter, is that if you're running too much, the odds of you running into a guy who's with his iron sights already up, you have to pull your gun up and start shooting at him. So you're at a huge disadvantage. So try to limit the amount of times when like you're running or strafing. Um, because the more that you run, the longer it takes for you to pull up your gun in the event that you see somebody. So having your gun while not sprinting is definitely a huge advantage when it comes to gunfights around the corner or something along those lines. Because if you are sprinting, Odds are that person is going to easily kill you. My next tip here today is whenever you're running in a full party or a group, make sure your teammates are not all running specialist bonus because that's really for KEM strikes. If you're running solo, you can use that all you want, but whenever like you're playing with a bunch of friends, I don't recommend using stuff like specialist. Use something like assault or support because you know assault and support can actually help out your teammates, but specialist is just kind of the selfish way I kind of think. So definitely using support is going to help out the team effort in general and overall everybody else is going to do better as long as well as you because with ballistic vests, with ammo crates, all those good stuff is pretty much going to help out to contribute to the whole team but specialist really just helps out the individual not the whole team so I recommend that you use more team oriented um, strike packages so that your team will win and everybody will do better. That's just a general thing for playing in parties. Now my next tip, now this is not really a tip guys, but this is just kind of something I want to make you guys aware of. If you play on the PlayStation 3 or the Xbox 360 currently and you plan on getting a next generation console, do remember that if you are in the same console family as let's say the Xbox 360 going to the Xbox One, your multiplayer stats and your Xbox 360 live account carry on over into the next generation version of Call of Duty Ghost so you don't have to restart from level 1 but on the other hand if you go from the Xbox 360 to the PlayStation 4 you lose all of your information you lose all of all of everything on Call of Duty Ghost and you have to restart all the way back at level 1 so do be aware of that when you are deciding which consoles you possibly are interested in buying because that definitely is a consideration um, in which version of Call of Duty Ghost you want to get but anyways guys, that is all the tips I can get through for today. Before that commentary is wrapped up, just want to let you guys know I'm going to be getting quite a few new games like Dead Rising 3. I already have Assassin's Creed's Black Flag. So if you guys are interested in any of these new games on the consoles, whether it be an old gen console into the next gen or just a completely exclusive game like Dead Rising, let me know if you guys want to see it. But anyways, I thank you guys for watching my video. Hope you guys enjoy the tips and I'll see you guys in the next video. And by the way, I won't be uploading during Thanksgiving weekend. But I just want to let you guys know, no more uploads until probably Sunday. But anyways, thank you guys for watching. See ya.